the straddle stretch. You want to have the child sit on their bottom and move their legs out to the sides. Make sure to have the child move their legs out as far as they can and point their toes. This helps them work on hamstring flexibility. You want them to lift their arms and lean over to their right. This allows them to work on stretching the lateral trunk. You then want them to move to the left side and stretch the trunk on that side of the body too. Um, when they reach for the middle, the hamstrings and the back are stretched. To make the activity more challenging, you want to have them reach out even farther, just a little bit farther every time. You can also help them in this stretch by applying just a little bit of pressure. The pike stretch. You want to have the child sit down on their bottom and put their legs straight out in front of them with the toes flexed. You then want them to reach over and grab their toes with their hands and pull their heels up off the ground. This stretches the hamstrings and the calves and also the arms and the back. If the child cannot reach their toes, you can help apply a gentle pressure in their back and reach out just a little bit farther. Just make sure that their legs stay straight on the ground and that their knees do not bend. The wrist stretch. First, you want to have the child roll their wrists with both hands together to prepare the wrists for this stretch. You then want to have them come to sitting or be on their knees. They then lean forward onto their hands with their fingers pointing back towards their knees. This applies a stretch to the flexors of the hand and puts weight bearing in the palm. You then want them to flip their hands over onto the top and stretch out their extensors. And then with the fingers facing out, you want them to make big circles. This helps with scapular mobility. These stretches allow for more movement of the flexors and extensors of the wrist and hand and also the muscles of the arm. The weight bearing prepares the body for more challenging activities. Bunny hops. The child is going to start at the end of the mat or whatever area you have and then they're going to jump on their toes in small increments. The hops give the child proprioceptive input and heavy work activities. Because the child is hopping on the toes, it is a good move to help improve balance. It also helps with toe push-off, which is important for ambulation. Balance is necessary for the child to have coordinated movements during everyday life and during play skills. Jumping over the reds. The child needs to put both feet together and jump with both feet. You will tell them to bend their knees and then jump. This is a good activity for bilateral coordination because both sides of the body must work together. Bilateral coordination is important for everyday skills such as drawing, writing, or just reaching across the body. If your child needs some help, you can hold their hand and, and she doesn't need help. You can hold their hand and tell them one, two, three, bend, bend your knees and jump. Good job. And, oh. <laughs> and you can help them get across the mat. Bear walks. The bear walk is performed with the weight on the hands and the toes pointed. The weight is on the palms of the hands and the weight bearing on the palms increases intrinsic muscle strength in the hands. Better muscle strength will help the child write, grip utensils, and perform grasping functions with their hands. This will make the world more accessible to them and help the child gain independence. Bridges. The first bridge is performed over the knee. This is safer for the child and gives them support in the back and facilitates a better stretch. It allows for more safety and control prior to performing the bridge alone on the ground. When you perform the bridge on the ground, you want to have them push their hips up and straighten out their arms. Because the head is in an upside down position, it helps enhance vestibular processing for the child. The vestibular system arouses the brain and allows for greater learning. If you want to hold a bridge, it is a good game for a child to place snakes under the bridge. This allows the child to gain confidence and to participate in play with other children or members of their family. The lifting extremities back bend begins from a standing position with the arms up straight by the ears. This is a more advanced skill. The child then leans back and looks towards the ground. While the child is in the bridge, you ask him to lift his right arm, left leg, right leg, and left arm. This helps the child learn body awareness, which is important for many activities, such as dressing. It also works on postural control, which is necessary for all types of movement. Any bridge is also a good weight-bearing activity and helps strengthen muscles for daily activities. Cartwheels. You want to start with your hands up straight by your ears and your toe pointed. You want to make sure the child moves hand, hand, foot, foot. 
This works on helping a child pick a hand to write with as they must pick the side that is most comfortable for them to start from. It also helps with motor planning because the child must envision how the hands and feet will move. Motor planning is needed in almost every activity performed throughout the day. It also gives significant proprioceptive and vestibular input. This helps the child integrate information from the world in relation to his or her own body. This is important for interaction with objects in the world. Forward rolls. You want to have the child stand, feet together, arms up straight. They're then going to bend over, tuck their chin, and roll. This activity is great for trunk control as it is hard to sit up from a forward roll. This will help your child with sitting endurance. It also helps the child learn to follow three-step commands by saying, hands down, tuck your chin, and roll. Three-step commands are important in school and will help the child to succeed in class. The vestibular system is also stimulated as the head is in an upside down position. In straddle rolls, you sit on your bottom, hands out in front of you, you push the weight up to your hands, tuck your chin, and roll over. This is a good move for upper body strength, which is important for dressing and many other activities. Handstands. When beginning handstands with a child, you want to first begin on a soft mat with the wall as a support. As the child gains more strength, Perform these on a flat surface with assistance as needed. This is a great move for postural stability and vestibular stimulation. It also facilitates weight bearing and input about where the body is in space. Bilateral integration is needed to kick into the handstand. Postural control is needed so the child does not fall over. Handstand contests are fun for children and can make them feel part of a group.